wanted to do another video on just kind of checking in to see like how the process of like my boat eventually being a thing and like what's going on so this week's been a little bit hard mentally for me um i've kind of come to the conclusion that i don't really have much of a support system when it comes to like being trans and uh my uncle lives in florida and i don't know we kind of seem to not really be the best at communicating with each other because of the fact that what's going on down in Florida right now to all the trans people so that kind of sucks and then I don't know I'm like having a bit of a hard time mentally today so that's why I kind of felt I should do like kind of a check-in to show that it's not all like upsides of like the story um i want to show you that there is real sides where it does get hard as well and i've been kind of struggling with thinking that the boat idea is still a good idea recently but each time i come to the conclusion of it possibly not being a good idea i get depressed and then i don't really feel that each day is kind of worth it so I know that that's definitely the direction I need to go in and I know that like my dad doesn't support it and I think my grandma doesn't really either and so it's kind of like setting me back a little bit and not having me be as excited as I could be and it really sucks but I know that it's still a good decision for myself because it's freeing and just like being <laughs> out there and I know this is just a lake but like just being out there and have the freedom of exploring the world how I choose to I can see just like really helping me and even just like having that as a set goal helps me too because like at least I know I'm working towards something like I also want to be a singer as well and working at the job that I'm at right now I'm on my break um I actually talked with somebody who was in one of the bands and he was like yeah just send me your contact info and we can keep in touch and stuff so me being a singer could also be a possibility because I am working here and I have the ability to talk to these people. So there's also that that's a good benefit as well. And I'm just trying to like keep myself up and going. Yesterday was a lot more like an upbeat and happy day. Um, today is a little bit more not so much that. But I still love you guys and thank you for who's watching my videos and all your support and I just kind of want to show a little bit of like the ugly side of like having a big goal that doesn't always feel like it's achievable and I just want to kind of like show you guys like when you start thinking that might be not a good idea to just kind of think about it more and like gauge how you feel if you decide against it and each time I come to the conclusion of like, is it not a good idea? I get depressed. And so from that, I just know that I have to stick to it and I gotta keep going for it. And I found a person in Maryland who is a shipwright and I've been like looking at the boats that they do and they repurpose and sell there and then they also can make a boat for you as well to fit your needs and I was like that's amazing I literally have been looking for something like this like I have looked into like used boats and uh, not really many of them are fitting my price range and then like looking at the price range for the ones that got repurposed by a shipwright were way cheaper 
and I'm also gonna go for a wooden sailboat. I don't know if there's a motorized part that I possibly could put into it just in case there's like a storm and you need to like get the hell out of there. Um, but um, another plan I plan to do for my boat is I want to put like copper plating on the bottom so that way the wood boat will have less leaks in the bottom and then I'm also gonna do I hate fiberglass but I will do like top deck fiberglass so that way the water splashing on top won't go into the boat as easily and then that also will make the boat last a lot longer so those are like the main key things that I want on the boat and then I'm also gonna kind of do a thing where um, I let people kind of rent out the extra I'm, I might have one or two extra bedrooms or something in the space um, where they can rent it out for like maybe a month or something and we can travel and if there's any maintenance and repairs on the boat while we're traveling they would help out with that too so that's like I'm starting to plan things and like get things feeling more like it's solid and if that doesn't really pick up at the beginning which probably won't um, I'll probably just kind of work the summers and then use the money that I make during the summer assuming that I get like this kind of job um, I'll just use that money to like do the repairs and stuff on the boat while I'm like back at land and like working and that would also give the chance for the shipwright to just kind of check in on that and make sure everything's functioning properly because I think they do like discounted prices if you're somebody who comes back to them and like does regular maintenance and care. I th think that's what I read. I could be wrong. Um, I'll give you an update on that. But yeah, still very much in the planning phases. I mean, right now I'm still trying to pay off my student loans, which is the main purpose for this whole summer. It's just free myself of any and all debts. And that also makes it so I have the ability to go to some other country that might pay me to live there because there's quite a few countries that are actually like yeah so we have a lot of old people we need younger people here to kind of do what we need done here so I could end up doing that as well um, I'm still debating on that as well but I'm I think my way of getting there would be with my boat though because I'm very much like I want to have all my things in my control kind of space kind of thing and that's why I'm like very keen on having the boat and then like I was thinking before of how like how would I move my stuff across seas if I wanted to move into Europe and I was like thinking of maybe like one of those kind of I forget what they're called the metal things that you put a bunch of um, stuff into shipping container there we go I got the word <laughs> a shipping container and then I was thinking that I would go onto the boat with the shipping container just to like make sure it's okay but I don't even know if they would let me do that because well it's probably a cargo ship and I don't think they want extra brandos on the ship so that was a thing that I thought about a while ago when I was still debating like moving other places outside the country and I came to like wanting to move to Canada first and then I was like you know what fuck it I'm just gonna like try to figure out how to move to Germany or something and so the main goal if you're moving out of, con out of the country is get rid of all your debt and then from there, you're probably gonna wanna have like 20K in your savings or something, just so they can be like, okay, you're not just gonna come over here and be a freeloader. So that's a little bit of advice if you're trying to move out of country. Um, but from for right now, I don't really have too many other updates. I just wanted to like kind of give you like a little bit of a glimpse into like what my ideas are, what I'm thinking about. Um, where I'm going and also kind of show the realness of like a big goal and how it can like sometimes have the negative effects on you as well especially if everybody's like sitting around you like I don't support this I don't think it's a good idea 
Like, you gotta stand strong and you gotta know what's best for yourself because this is your life. And, I mean, nobody can out and make your life the way you want it to be. Only you can do that. So, if you want something, go for it. And you're the only one that can get yourself there. And if you have a bunch of, like, family or, like, pets or, like, little things that are keeping you bound to where you are, just figure out possibly how you can let them go. Because attachment is what kind of holds us all captive. And once you release your emotional attachments, your physical attachments to these things, you have the ability to free yourself and go into the world and do what you want. And that's like been a big thing for me because I'm like, I'm trying to do a yard sale and I'm trying to gauge when the weather is going to be nicest for doing that and I know I'm going to have to do it on probably one of my days off. And so I'm an introvert and doing something like social on my days off is a little hard sometimes because I'm very focused on myself and like making myself better and like doing some sort of physical activity for myself and yeah and then I also wanted to comment too on how like Venus is in cancer right now so everyone's going through all this emotional stuff and lots of blooming things happening for your love life and I also wanted to comment to like self-love is also part of that so if you're not in a relationship right now and you want to like kind of move towards possibly having a relationship or even if you don't want a relationship like I don't want a relationship right now I'm content being single and I'm content with that being that way and that's totally valid like Venus being in cancer is also about self-love don't let anyone tell you otherwise so just wanted to say thank you for watching my video and I hope the little things that I've talked about can help you and start like moving you in the right direction and sorry I'm a little low energy today all the positive vibes apparently were a little bit more yesterday but yeah yesterday was really nice I was seeing sevens and threes and twos everywhere and then I found two four-leaf clovers so yeah, it's been fun and I just wanted to say if you guys want to keep updated on me, know what's going on, I post a snapchat a lot, usually that's when you'll know I'm having like a really good day or like trying to motivate and help other people if you want to talk to me directly. Um, so it's Lincoln Park 8 on snapchat and then if you want to follow my Instagram that's usually just like pictures and like a little bit of an artsy appeal. And that's ask underscore believe underscore receive. And if you wanted to follow my TikTok, I'm trying to do a little bit more like motivational speeches on there. As well as keeping up with my makeup. But my makeup I'm kind of falling short on a little bit recently because of the fact that I'm doing so much other stuff. And plus I'm working, so energy is a little bit more put elsewhere. And so... If you did want to follow my TikTok and get those motivational speeches, then I'm probably going to be going into doing more. Um, that would be Skylar Love, so S-C-H-U-Y-L-E-R, Love. And if you want to see more of my content of boat updates and how my journey is, keeps going, um, subscribe please. Love you guys. And I'll talk to you soon. I'm trying to do more videos and my job here gives me like really good like time and to do everything. I usually have like a bit of time to like maybe film a video during break so just stay updated. Look at this beautiful scenery and I love you guys. Okay? Bye! Subscribe please! Follow me! And just a little better view of like what the scenery that I got going on is like there's a big old fire pit and then 
there's like all this space over here and this is gorge so yeah I love you guys and I hope you can have a great day enjoying this view. If you don't have one near you, I hope you can live vicariously through me. Bye! Love you all!